Hi there, my name is Asad and today I'm gonna show you how to solve Benny's game crash dump error. Today we will see how you can fake crash dump error. If this method uh, doesn't work for you, I will show you an alternative method to get rid of this problem permanently. As you need to know this method may or may not work for you so uh, but the alternative method will definitely work so stick till the end uh, to solve the question error. the first uh, step you need to do uh, go to the direct uh, the directory where you install the banished game so in my case I have installed it in C program files PXC banished there you need to find a video direct x11 the game try to start the game in direct x11 so you need to force it to go to direct x9 so uh, you need to cut the file from here and place it in another directory you need to start the game if this works as you may say it is not working so the second step you need to do go to a start search bar and type REGEDIT registry edit press enter and click on yes there you need to go to H key current user find software open it and look for Shining Rock Software LC. Click, uh, click on Banished. There you need to find Video Interface. Just press V and it will go to V Video Interface. Here you need to check that if the value is zero. Just double click on that. It will pop that window. Click OK. Go to H key User. you need to go to this folder 1521 uh, there are two 1521 so uh, click the first one click on drop down menu and uh, in, go to software open it find shining rock software lc click on banished and there you uh, ne also need to find the uh, video interface as you can see it is already zero if in your case it it is one just uh, click on to zero and click uh, right click on banished and delete it click yes close that registry editor the, uh, this you, you need to keep in mind that if you uh, start the game and if you open the game it will uh, rewrite the registry files so you need to close the registry editor click on ban banished as you can see it is not working <laughs> I have told earlier that it may or may not work so you need to play with it a little bit so just click yes and type search bar type in search bar registry edit open it then you need to delete this folder keep in mind that if you are in user directory so in user go to software and delete the whole folder and also delete the current for, uh, uh, folder in current user go to software and as you can see it is already deleted if you delete it in uh, HK user uh, menu then it will um, remove it current user and refresh it and click on double click on vanish as you can see it is still not working so again open registry edit 
click yes go to hk current user go to software and you need to as you can see it guys uh, we already deleted that folder but if you restart the registry editor then uh, it will pop up again because the game uh, rewrite the registry files uh, go to uh, click on banished folder and here you need to go to uh, right click new and uh, create a string value so type video interface press yes double click on that and type the value to zero click ok and close the registry editor try to start the game it is still not working go to registry edit again click yes banish video interface go to hk user go to this folder go to software here you will find video interface just delete banished folder click registry uh, close the registry editor restart the game as you can see it is working so guys uh, this method may or may not work so you need to play with it the see uh, just click play as you can see it is running if you do this method and the game started if you try to restart the game again let's close it and uh, restart the game click right click and click open it will still pop up the crash dump arrow so this method is not very effective uh, but you will find uh, 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 all these methods which I have uh, shown you guys uh, on the internet they also uh, do this uh, the same process so the alternative method which I am using is uh, working definitely fine for me so go to chrome and you need to go to this URL the link is in the description so what is this you need to go to this link click on download and it is 92 MB file I have already downloaded it you need to extract it in any directory you want uh, I have extracted in system uh, a directory game uh, as you can see my extracted folder is here so you need to go to this folder the uh, benefit of this uh, game is uh, this method is that you can start it on a 32-bit machine or a 64-bit machine if you have a 32-bit machine you need to start this exe and uh, in my case I have 64-bit machine just uh, click on this and it will uh, start the game as you can see it has started the game I have loaded. So, uh, if you wanna install mods uh, manually, go to Win Data folder, and as you can see, I have a Colonial Character J mod. So you need, uh, you can go there and uh, play it, or if you still want to um, keep on your game, then try the, those methods.